Hello everyone, welcome to another topic of biochemistry genetics. We are going to learn about Robertsonian translocation today. So, what is Robertsonian translocation? The Robertsonian translocation is the chromosomal translocation that commonly involves the chromosome pairs 21, 22, 13, 14 and 15. The, Robertsoma, the Robertsonian translocation occurs when the long arms of two acrocentric chromosomes fuse at centromeres and the two arms are lost. So, this, this is the thing, this is the main concept you have to know in the Robertsonian translocation, how the Robertsonian translocation occurs. It occurs when the long arms of two acrocentric chromosomes fuse at centromere and the two arms are lost. So, first of all, we have to know this that the acro acrocentric chromosomes are chromosome number 13, 14, 15, 21 and 22. For your remembrance, you can also use that 21, 22, 13, 14, 15. So, this acrocentric chromosome, this acrocentric chromosomes, whenever I say acrocentric chromosomes, you should automatically know that the acrocentric chromosomes are 13, 14, 15, 21 and 22. So, these acrocentric chromosomes have very short P arms that contain only chromosomal satellites and the genetic for the genetic code for the ribosomal RNA, RNAs. Their center, centromeres therefore are very close to one end of the chromosome. So, when the long arms of two chromosome, when the long arm of two chromo, two acrocentric chromosome merged by the translocation, there short arms are lost and the dicentric or monocentric chromosome is created. So, the creation of the dicentric or monocentric chromosome depends upon the location of the breakpoints. So, this is the main thing how the Robertsonian translocation occurs. So, now let us discuss about the various types of the Robertsonian translocation. The various types of Robertsonian translocation are balanced and unbalanced Robertsonian translocation. In the balanced Robertsonian translocation, there is no unique genetic sequence lost. So, there is no any abnormal phenotypes are seen in the balanced Rob Robertsonian translocation. Uh, but in the unbalanced Robertsonian translocation, the genetic sequence are lost. So, there could be the miscarriage, stillbirth, chromosomal imbalance can be occurred. So, this chromosomal imbalance could be Down syndrome or Patau syndrome. So, this much for the Robertsonian translocation. We discussed um, what are the, what is mean by the Robertsonian translocation, what are the acrocentric chromosome, how the Robertsonian translocation occurs and the different types of the Robertsonian translocation and what happens in the balanced and unbalanced Robertsonian translocation we learned in the today's video. So, I hope you understood this lecture. Thank you.